Hey guys. Okay, so today I'm in the front flower bed and I was just gonna show you guys how I am going to deadhead these drift roses that bloomed so beautiful this year, as well as my lemon coral sedum up in that planter there. Um, the Veronica right now are looking fabulous. Back behind and the society garlic back there um, are looking so, so good. But, and these looked marvelous just a couple weeks ago, but they've started to really fizzle out. So we're gonna go ahead and get them a little haircut here and get all those dead blooms off. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my pruners here and then you want to come in and especially with this first flush of blooms I'm really going to look for that leaf um those five leaves that are coming off um outwards so you want it to come away from the plant not into the plant so on this one we can see that there's one that's going into the plant right there and we don't want that and then there's one here a five five leaf that's going out away from the plant so I'm going to clip right above that stem there and then that will force this to become a limb outwards okay can you see that so you cut right above it and then it'll limb out away from the plant and then we'll just do that with all of the others and it shouldn't take too, too long, especially once you get the hang of it. Now there are a few that I'm just gonna leave. As you can see, they were so beautiful. They come out in bouquets like this and it they just, they have all different colors on them. And I, I just love this rose. This is the peach drift rose and it's just marvelous. Like look at that with the yellow in it, in the inside. Oh, they're so, so pretty. So there's a few that I'm gonna leave. Like they may have a few dead ones on them, but I'm still gonna leave them because, you know, there's plenty that are actually completely spent that, you know, we're gonna get to where we don't have a whole lot of a bush left once this is done. So that is how I do those. And then I will show you as well how I do my lemon coral sedum too. Um, so, goodness. Yeah, there's so many. Just because this thing went absolutely crazy this year as far as blooms go. Like, it was insane. And I'm really hoping that it'll charge up and do it again. Like, I'm all, I'm here for it for sure. Um, I would suggest using gloves, of course, to prune just because, you know, the thorns. I just am a risk taker and don't really like to use gloves. So, I don't. But as you can see, I'm cutting right above that five leaf right here. So, the limb will come out from here and come outwards away from the plant. And usually, on roses like the first one will be out and then the next one will be in and as you go down the way like they change positions so if the first leaf um, section is going in like this one the first leaf section is going kind of inwards towards the plant this one's coming out so we'll just go for that one so we'll just clip right there above that one and then right here is where our stem will come out so it's that simple um so i'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the lemon coral sedum and then once i do that i'll i know like you probably don't want to watch me like prune all of these because there are a lot there's a lot of deadheading to do on these um so I'll go ahead 
I showed you how to do it. I'll move on to show you how to do the lemon coral sedum, which is like super easy. And then I'll post a picture of the before and after on um, the thumbnail. So you can see kind of like what it looks like after the fact uh, and how small and like how much smaller they get in size because uh, it's kind of crazy how that works. And as you can see too, I'm kind of starting to deal with some black spot, um, which is the problem that I had last year. I already sprayed it once, but I'm gonna spray it again with some horticulture oil and dormant oil and see if we can get that gone because last year it got all over the limbs and everything and I had to end up just completely um, cutting these things to the ground so we'll try to get on top of that this year i'll make another video on how to spray for that and the ratios and how to mix it and all that stuff so keep an eye out for that but i'll move on oh look at that rose right there oh my goodness they're like fluorescent anyway and then there's one that's more of like a peach like these roses are amazing but to the lemon coral sedum there's up here in this planter fountain here it used to be a fountain then we put some holes in it made it into a planter and i just want it to be like cascaded lemon coral sedum eventually i've got a lot of like little sprigs in here because this is a perennial in our area zone eight in alabama um this one obviously gets a lot of sun but i've got a few sprigs on back there that I'm hoping will really take it over and then just kind of start filling in real good. But as you can see down here, we've got some, and this one's still kind of blooming, but honestly, I'm not in love with lemon coral sedum blooms. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut it all the way back. Cause you can see like without the blooms, what it's gonna look like. So I just come in and just snip away at all of them and get them all cut and that's it i do t as much as i don't really like the blooms i do try to let them stay for a little bit and drop some because since they are a perennial in our area if you let them drop their blooms like they will seed themselves um and kind of take over an area so I do, I don't know, I'll probably keep those just because they are still, still pretty good blooming and the stem itself is not dry. So I'll leave those couple, but you can kind of see what it will look like once um, we deadhead it. So it just comes back to just looking like a regular sedum instead of having all of the bloom stalks up on it so yeah and then you can find a couple weeds along the way so yeah that's how you do that um and then i think the next video that i will do i'm just gonna continue on doing that all around um there's a few and this on top there's a few that i planted this year that will not bloom this year so i won't have to worry about those as much um but next year i will so um but yes i plan the next video that i post i'm hoping will be the video of me mixing up the horticulture oil and the dormant oil and spraying it because um the quicker we can get on top of that black spot on those roses the better uh, especially once the humidity starts setting in for the summer like we're gonna really want to stay on top of it i also have a few um hydrangeas i'm gonna spray as well that had some uh already have some anthracnose on them so I'll spray them as well and then I'll show you guys uh, how to do that too so just stay tuned and keep an eye out and I hope you subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will 
will see you in the next one. Bye.